Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing unboxing for a Toy Fair exclusive concept art Captain America. This is to commence the 10th year anniversary of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What's special is that this is one of the many concept designs for the Civil War Captain America. This one is all black customs that were never used in the movie. We start with the display box, which is a black grey design to coincide with the character itself. And the side is stated Civil War Captain America. Okay. And in the back, the general information, production information. And that side is just a mirror of the other side. And once you remove the sleeve, there are many panels, just like the comic books, of all the characters that appear in the Marvel Cinematic Universe series for the past 10 years. Star Lord, Doctor Strange, Black Widow, Captain America, etc, etc. Once you open the inside panel, you see the details the credits of the production team. There you go. The custom this time is quite simple. It's a complete flat back from top to bottom, from head to toe. It's a unique different from the regular red, white and blue that symbolize the American flag. This was based on the concept art design by the uh, designer. You can see they started from different versions, with the st uh, star in the middle, without the star, with the A on the side, uh, with trousers, with tactical pants. For people that are interested in this concept art book, there are the various uh, styles for each Avengers. They can go online to look for it. I think it's available on Amazon.com and other, other online retailers, around $50 US. Take a look if you're interested. Very nice good stuff here. So, although I'm not certain, I would like to take a guess that the Black Custom was uh, inspired from the Marvel US Comics, US Agent. Because at one time, Steve Rogers was uh, disagreed with the US government and decided to hang it up. Therefore, he created his own Black Customs to conduct his business. Check it out if you're interested. I have collected each and every Hot Toys Captain America since the start. And this is by far the best looking, uh, best bo body physique for the Captain America, as you can tell. Besides changing the base body and widening the shoulders, you can see the biceps, the shoulders. They also changed the materials for the clothing. This allowed it to pep to show the physique, the definitions of the muscle body. It's quite amazing. So the suit is a similar synthetic like the Spider-Man one. The pants are also synthetic suits. It looks nice. Besides showing the curve of the excellent body, the synthetic suit is also very good for the articulation, as you can see. Because on the earlier versions, the clothing was so many layers, so thick. So there's a lot of restrictions on the body. Now you can see. However, this one they still have a uh, padding on the on the waist area. So the lower uh, portion articulation is rather limited. If you do some quick modification, I'm sure you can improve it hugely. As with all hot toy synthetic suits. You don't want to keep them in a dynamic poses for extended period, for you might crack the suit. Next up is the side-by-side -side comparison with the Civil War Captain America, the one that was said to be the best proportionate articulation up to date. Well, as you can see, if you put one against the other, there's no comparison. Next, we will take a side uh, view of the comparison. As you can see, Civil War Mark has a thicker chest, but is that due to the layer of clothing? It does not help the articulation in any way. For the head scope, basically it's the same as the Civil War Captain America, as you can see. 
This is the one with the interchangeable faceplate, with the screaming head and normal head. The screaming faceplate and normal faceplate, which are changeable with magnetic. There you go. The only difference is the pin application. We can also take a look of a side-by-side -side view of the Civil War Captain America head sculpt versus the concept art Captain America head sculpt. You can see they're both identical. However, the skin color is rather pale on the uh, concept art version, maybe for contrast purpose. For the accessory, it's quite standard. We got the standard stand with the Marvel 10 and the Rosary logo in there. You also come with two shields, the one from the first uh, Avengers and the circle shield. Um, I'm slightly disappointed that both were plastic instead of die cast metal that we are so used to. So um, although it doesn't feel as uh, good on hand, the paint app is, well, it's serviceable because it's a black and white tone, it's quite simple. If you like, you can probably get a metal shield and paint it yourself as a replacement. Besides the two shields, we also have the extra face plate that you can change for your look. The normal one or the screaming one, both looks nice. And also come with a total of seven hands. One is the open palm. The other one is with the pointing fingers or leading the way, cap leading the way. And this one is for the throwing and the catching of the circular shield, as you have seen Cap do in so many in the movie so many times. There you go. See? Hold it nicely. And then also come with a pair of fists and a pair of uh, shield carrying hands. Because this one you can carry uh, both shields at the same time. In closing, as you can see, I already swapped the uh, Chris Evans hat on the figure to totally uh, duplicate the concept art version. It looks nice. I also give you a chance to look at it again, uh, comparing to the Civil War Captain America. So, as a collector, I think this is one of the best Captain America in terms of facade uh, articulation. However, it's a different color than the regular one. It's black instead of uh, red, white, and blue. If you can get it at the retail price, I would jump on it. But understand that this is a limited uh, edition, prices have gone up, so you have to decide whether you want to pay for that. And also, I hope the Avengers 4 Cap New Custom will use this type of materials. Hope you enjoyed this video, and please give a like if you like it. Later on, bye.